Hello, my name is Sajni. Yes. I come from a Chris Christian tradition. The question I had was, is there a concept in Hinduism about a personal God that can suffer? A personal God that can suffer? Again, yes and no. Personal God to suffer would have to be incarnated. Just like the Christian God. So Jesus suffered. Yeah. Uh, and was that suffering real? Yes, it was real. Um, in the same way, we believe that Sri Ramakrishna is incarnation. Did he suffer from cancer and die? Yes. So the pain that a human being would have for throat cancer and death um, is the same thing that the incarnation also undergoes. So uh, God suffers with suffering humanity. That's why we can relate to God. And yet the answer is no. Because uh, the incarnation, whether Ramakrishna or Jesus, they show us a way to transcend suffering. We are limited and we are helpless in the jaws of suffering. Whereas the incarnation shows us, yes, I suffer along with you and I feel every bit of the pain that you feel. But here is a way to transcend. Um, that's why the story I often tell, there are many such uh, examples, but one example, famous example is when he is dying from throat cancer, uh, his disciples, Hari, who later became Turiyananda, comes and asks him, Sir, how are you today? And he says, it hurts the throat, the tumor in the throat, and I can't eat. And then Hari says to him, but sir, I see that you're in great bliss. And Sri Ramakrishna, strangely enough, he laughs and he says, oh, the rascal has found me out. In Bengali, Shara Dharan Hiyatse. So, with, which means, here is the difference between the incarnation and the non-incarnation. There is a level at which the incarnation is, is aware of his divinity. And that helps him to transcend suffering at the human level. Both are true. Mm. Both are true. It's not that the human level is a play. Mm. A lot of for a long period of time, both in Hinduism and in Christianity, there were theories. Because they, there are people who cannot accept that God can suffer. Yeah. So there were theories that, no, Jesus actually did not suffer. Mm. Almost exactly like we have similar theories in Hinduism. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the Jesus that died on the cross was an illusory Jesus. The real Jesus who did not die on the cross. Mm -hmm. Now you can see how that both of that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The only thing what happened in Christianity was uh, because the idea is that there must be one truth. So any deviation from the truth must be false. So these other theories were rejected as heretical. Yeah. Yeah. These were heresies. Yeah. They were powerful schools at one time. They were rejected as heresy and purged out. Yeah. In Hinduism, what happens is everything continues parallelly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, there's no quite concept of that's wrong or this is wrong. And that makes sense from an Advaitic perspective. Because in Advaitic perspective, all these perspectives are more or less helpful to the realization of the truth. Some may be more helpful, some may be less helpful. So, let them all stay. Yes. So, Sita, was she actually imprisoned in, um, by Ravana? Or did she actually enter the fire under the command of uh, the bishop Rama? So there's one theory which, which cannot bear the idea of Sita being imprisoned or entering into the fire. So that was an illusory, you know, the real Sita was hiding in fire and the uh, um, illusory Sita was imprisoned in uh, by the demon king. Mm -hmm. So such, you see, the very similar, uh, similar in, in theory. But what does it mean actually? Is, it, is there some grounding in truth? Yes, it is. When Sri Ramakrishna says, yes, I am actually suffering, he's not play acting that I am uh, sick and it's painful, he's suffering as much as any cancer patient would suffer. But when he's saying I'm beyond that suffering also, I am actually in bliss also, and that's also true. That's also true. And that opens the door for us mm -hmm. to see how in the midst of this material world, without denying any of the materiality, without denying any science, uh, one can also see there is the truth of spirituality which transcends this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.